previously. And so we go. Hello friends of the internet and welcome back to Professor Layton in the Curious Village. Um, there's a lot going on and we are going to figure out who killed Simon. I'm just trying to see if there's any point in this. Haha. Alright. Mr. Matthew. Matthew, did you notice any strange characters around the manor at the time of the incident? Not at all, I'm afraid. I didn't even know what Master Simon I didn't even know about Master Simon until Inspector Chelmy showed up. Where is Simon's body now? I didn't see this, but I was told the inspector carried the body out shortly after arriving. I see. Well, it looks like for the moment we're without a lead on the case. Ah, but you know, I found this in the room when Master Simon's body was discovered. Ooh. What's this? Sorry to say I have no idea, but I thought it might be a clue, so I made sure to hold on to it. Amazing, it's a cog so small one could search the rooms and miss it. Look, it has an engraving. Drop cogs was added to your list of mysteries. A small cog. Now that you mention it, I know a puzzle about an object that almost fits that description. What? Are you joking? A puzzle? At a time like this? <coughs> a puzzle is worth 30 foot grabs. You're holding an eight-pointed shape with a red dot on it. If you hold the shape so that the red dot is in the position shown in diagram A, then flip it over, you'll see a black dot is depicted below. Now, assume you're holding the shape as shown on the left side of the diagram. Where the, will the black dot be when you flip the shape over? Draw a circle around where you think the black dot should go. One, two, three, and then flipped over, it would be here. Oh. No? Hmm. Okay. Alright. So, when this is flipped over, the black dot is on that side. So, one, two, it would be here. I messed up. So, one, two, it would be here. I messed up. Am I still spinning it this way? Um, I guess I am. Okay. So it wants me to spin it instead of flip it. I understand now. Okay, so the dot's here. One, two. And then if I spin it around, the dot will be here. If I'm wrong again, I don't even know. There we go. Yep, okay. My apologies, but I'm afraid I don't know anything else that would aid your investigation. Not at all. This small gear is more than enough for us to go on. But I do wonder why you're giving this to us. I believe you're a good man, Professor. I'm confident you'll fit the whole puzzle, the whole of this puzzle together. Appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. Cool. Will you give me a second, Inspector? I'll be right with you. Let me just finish this. Imagine, a murder in this very house. It brings a chill to my spine, it does. You're a detective, are you not? Do hurry and find the monster that did this. My good sir, I am no detective, but I do agree your concerns are certainly warranted. 
No one is safe until that criminal is behind bars. My sentiments exactly. I just don't understand it. Simon could be snide, but he wasn't the type to be hated. If the criminal was after my brother's fortune, I could very well be the friend's next target. You have a point. We narrow the motives of stealing the Reinhold fortune, there are a few potential suspects. Good gracious, you don't think I'd do something like this now? Simon and I got along very well, I'll have you know. He wasn't very close with Augustus, though. You know, all this talk of families has been contemplating on puzzle, I once heard. Brick bickering brothers. Six brothers have gathered around a table to eat dinner. Each of the brothers is prone to fighting with the siblings directly above or below him in age. It can't be seated next to either of them. Also, brothers three and five got into an argument the other day and refused to sit next to each other. The eldest brother, brother one, has already sat down at the big table and is waiting on the others to start eating. Can you find a seating arrangement that will keep everyone from fighting with each other? Okay. Sure. Um, two. Three. <sighs> oh, I did it backwards, but yeah, pretty much the same thing. Or did I do it backwards? No, I don't know. Good job. Set the boys are shown, and there shouldn't be any trouble. A mirror image of the sitting arrangement is also a valid answer. Answer finally in real one piece. Ah, yes. So that's the answer. Thank you for clearing that up. That puzzle. Well, we're still no closer to finding Simon's killer. I assure you, I had nothing to do with it. So please go and find the real murderer. Of course, I understand your position. It appears I am the suspect too. I found out what I can. Alright, what's up, Inspector? Is this everyone who is present at the side of the crime? I believe we're missing Raymond, sir. Raymond? Where is he and what on earth is he doing? Matthew, fetch Raymond at once. To be honest, madam, thinking on it, I have not seen Raymond for a few hours now. What? Don't tell me he was taken as well. No, hold on a moment. He's a suspect, too. Perhaps he fled the scene of the crime. Where could he be at a time like this? I wonder if the murderer got Raymond, too. Oh, I should do voices for these guys. Hey, where did Lady Dahlia go? I believe Madame has retired to the adjoining room to relax on her own. She's a strong woman, but it's only natural she need to rest after a terrible event like this. Very well then, would you please let her know that I have something I'd like to talk to her about? But of course, Professor, please wait here. Lady Dahlia might act like an ice queen, but I guess she was shaken by today's events. Luke, if you ever wish to become a true gentleman, you need to start showing a little more sensitivity. Oh, of course, Professor. I apologize. That was wrong of me. Madam, we'll see you now. Just head b back through the doorway on the left. Poor Simon. Murdered right here. I'm absolutely terrified. Bring this criminal to justice. I beg of you. Before I go up there, I want to go down here. Wait a moment, Luke. Yes, Professor. There's something I'd like to discuss with Lady Dahlia. I shouldn't take very long at all. Or I also want to look through my gizmos real quick. Oh. Uh, the late Baron Reinhold hid this item in St. Mystery just before dying and has promised the whole of the fortune to the one who finds it. No one has any clue why the, what the golden apple might be or where it is hidden. Ways at the manor. While Professor was in meeting with Lady Dahlia, Reinhold Manor was rocked by a noise so loud it shook the walls of the mansion and scared off Claudia. What could the source of the noise be? Someone has stolen the crank that controls St. Mystery's drawbridge, the sole portal in and out of town. Until the crank is recovered, there is no way to leave the town. Why would somebody want to steal a drawbridge crank? Dropped cogs. A small cog with an intricately carved insignia was recovered from the scene of Simon's murder. Perhaps the murderer dropped it when fleeing the scene. Perhaps. Oh. Uh... Yep. Chasing Claudia. A thunderous noise ran out during the conversation with Lady Dahlia. The din was so deafening that it caused her cat Claudia to run off, losing her cat. But Lady Dahlia had quite a temper, so we have taken on the rather irritating task of chasing the lawyer's feline. But enough of cat. Just what was that noise? Some rascals made off with a crank to the village at Drawbridge. For the moment, it seems we're unable to leave St. Mystery. Though we're still out looking for the cat, decided we should make lodging arrangements before it gets too late. I recall seeing an inn around the village entrance. 
We succeeded in procuring rooms for the night, but the town's only in is undergoing renovations. As such, we'll be staying in the attic. At least I know we'll be safe. The innkeeper buries a sturdy woman who will no doubt who no doubt knows how to wield a rolling pin when need be. Now back to looking for the cat. It was a long struggle to that caused Luke some scratches to his face and perhaps his pride, but we finally managed to catch Claudia. I think now it would be appropriate to make our way back to the mansion and inform Lady Dahlia of our success. Yep, okay. Uh, gizmos. Gizmos have gathered around St. Mysterio all lined up on the touchscreen. Tap one to snap into place. Just what are you constructing, you ask? That's a secret. It looks like a dog. Do I just need to... Okay. I thought I had to line it up. I'm sad I don't. Looks like I'm getting a toy dog. You can place furnishings you've collected in either Lucas or Fetcher Layton's room. Use a stylus to move an item. When you move an item, it appears on the top screen of the room which you placed it. The actual location of the item in the room is decided for you. Both Luke and Professor Slayton will comment on the f how the furnishing of the rooms is coming along. The goal is to arrange the ideal living space for both of them. You can check how they feel about the rooms by tapping their icons on the touch screen. Each time you attain a new item, you'll ask which room to put it in. You can always go back and change the layout, so don't think too hard about the location. Get a new item uh, when one of your rooms is full, be sent to the other room with the remaining space. When both Luke and the Professor are completely satisfied with the living quarters, something good will happen. <laughs> Okay. And the painting. Touch a piece of the painting to go to the screen where you can place your selected piece. You can also enter the placement screen by tapping the yellow arrow at the top screen of the selection screen. Return to the selection screen from the placement screen at any time by tapping switch. Move pieces on the placement screen with your stylus. Grab the piece in the circle that appears to slide the piece around. If you touch a piece outside the circle, you can rotate it by as your stylus, find all 20 pieces, and reassemble the picture. When you put the whole painting back together, something good will happen. I. Uh. Oh, no. Dang it. No, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait till I get more corners for that. So I can figure out which corners are which. I'm also gonna save because it's been a while. Let's go ahead and save it in another save slot just in case. Cat wants in. He's upset I won't let him in. Okay. Hey, coin. I'm trying to see if. Lady Dahlia, I have a deep suspicion that the murder is connected to murder is connected to the mystery of the golden apple. What? It's too early to say for sure, but I think it's highly probable the two matters are linked. And do you think that Raymond is somehow involved in all this? Potentially, yes. However, as of late, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusion. I see. If that's the case, I'll have a I have a request for you, Professor. Find Raymond and bring him back here to me. It sickens me that I am being considered a suspect in this brutal crime. I must prove my innocence at once. As you wish, Lady Dahlia. We will ask around town to see what we can find. I appreciate your help, Professor. Well, then I'll be awaiting the good news in the parlor. The missing servants. Comb state mystery for clues about Raymond's disappearance. I just saved. Okay. Look at this picture. What is it, Professor? Oh, isn't that Lady Dahlia? She's holding a baby. The baby must be Brain Reinhold's daughter, then. Laura was her name, wasn't it? Gosh, what a cute baby. Lady Dahlia hasn't changed much, has she? You know, look, they say true beauty never ages. I suppose so, Professor, but even so, it makes me wonder. Maybe we can ask Lady Dahlia about it. feel like I'm missing a hint coin in here. But, oh well. Oh, 
By the way, Mr. Layton, I hear something of a puzzle connoisseur. This puzzle is popular in London. Why I left, I wonder if you have what it takes to solve it. Popular in London? Five suspects. Five suspects are called into police headquarters for questioning. They give the following statements. One of the five of us is lying. Two of the five of us are lying. I know these guys, and three of the five of us are lying. Don't listen to a word they say. Out of five of us, four are lying. All five of us are dirty, rotten liars. The police only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. How many people should they let go? Only one, because one of them can't be lying. Because then this would be wrong. So only one of them are correct. Out of the five of us, four are lying. It's the only one that makes sense. We can only let one go. That's right. Every suspect accused a different number of people. If anyone was telling the truth, it had to be one suspect, no more, no less. The only suspect whose statement fits is the only suspect whose statement fits that condition is D. It looks like he's a free man now. Just because he told the truth doesn't mean he's not a suspect. Hmm. I sh suppose I should have given you a tougher puzzle to solve. You do your best to use up ears to find that golden apple everyone's a buzz about. Pardon me, but we happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter Flora a moment ago. I beg your pardon? The picture of you holding a baby, the one that sits in the next room. I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never had any children. Huh? My apologies, madam. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, time is of the essence here. Go find Raymond and bring him back, would you? If that's not Lady Dahlia in the photograph, who on earth could it be? I think we do well to ask the butler a few questions. Perhaps he could clear this up for us. Wait, hold on. Does she have a puzzle for me as well? It's going to be silly, but I want to know. Anyway, word of Raymond's whereabouts? Nope. No, goodbye. Ah, Matthew, do you have a moment? Certainly, sir. How may I help you? Or how can I help you? It's about the picture of Lady Dahlia upstairs. One of her holding a small child. Uh, yes, yeah, about that old picture. That's not Lady Dahlia, I'm afraid. It's a picture of Baron Reinhold's former wife. But I certainly understand why you would mis mistake one for the other. They are virtually identical in appearance, their gesture, and even the way they move. So that photo isn't of Lady Dahlia, but an early wife of the Baron. Wow, imagine finding someone who looks that much like you. What are the odds? Is there a chance that the two were relatives of one another? I've never heard of uh, anything to suggest as much, sir. It just happened one day. The Baron arrived home, and at his side was Lady Dahlia. Sorry to say that's all I really know about the matter. Not at all. You've been most helpful. Thank you, Matthew. How odd. The more I hear, the stranger this whole affair starts to sound. Lady Dahlia was added to mysteries. I've already looked at this picture. And let's look at Flora again. Do you have a puzzle for me, sir? Okay. Thank you, Matthew. Um, hello. What have you got there? Glasses. Hmm? These are, these are Simon's glasses. But how on earth did they end up here? This could be a clue in the investigation. I think it's best if we brought this to Inspector Shelmy. What's the matter, Mr. Layton? Inspector, take a look at these. These glasses belong to Simon. We found them out in the garden. What the? Oh, I imagine they simply fell off the body when it was being carried out of the village. Besides, if you have enough time to manage the village lost and found, shouldn't you be searching for the Reinhold inheritance or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing? 
Of course, if you continue to inter interrupt my investigation, I have some ideas about what you can do. My sincerest apologies, Inspector. I don't like that chummy one bit. He reeks of smoke and he's so full of himself. The way he treats his professor, it's just too much. Luke, my boy, pay it no mind. Right now we have other priorities. Let's go ask around town and find Raymond. Not Raymond, Raymond. Okay. Let's the boat again. Oh, look, there's a hole in that boat there. Oh, Professor, that reminds me. Have you heard about the one about the sinking ship? SOS. 15 people are trapped aboard a ship that's going to sink in exactly 20 minutes. Their only chance for survival is this five-person life raft stone on the vessel. To make matters worse, the waters around the ship are teeming with man-eating sharks. So swimming to safety is out of the question. A round trip to the nearest island back to the boat it takes nine minutes on the raft. How many people will live to see dry land? Okay. So... Nine people go. Uh, one has to come back. And then nine people go. And that's... Uh, wait, no, five people can go. I misunderstood. So, five people go. Uh, and one person comes back. Five, one, and then five people go. One round trip takes nine minutes. So, then five people go, and then one has to come back. All of them will live. So that's 18 minutes for that round trip, and then he could pick up, I don't know, because he comes back, then he goes. Five people go, one comes back. That's nine minutes. So one has to be on the boat. Um... And then another five people go, and then one goes back. So that's 18 minutes. And then there's not enough time for another round trip, so you can get five more people on there. So one, two, three, four, five. That's 13 people. So two people have to die, sorry. If you crowd in a lot, maybe you'll be fine. Wow, good answer, Professor. It took me five times as long to get that one. Hey, you. The pointing lady. What you up to? Look at you fighting away there. Whatever's the matter. Sorry to trouble you, but did you see Vermont Raymond around here today? He was here until just a little while ago. Well, I can't say I've seen him today, which is strange, considering how often he sneaks off the job. But enough of that. I hear you're quite a nice with puzzles. Would you mind helping me out with a puzzle that I've been mulling over? Oh, right now. We're sort of in the middle of something right now, but if you insist... One line puzzle one. Have you heard of one line puzzles? The idea is to place your pen to paper and draw a shape without lifting your pen from the pad or retracing any part of the line. You can, however, cross lines. Now that you're familiar with the concept, look at the four pictures below. One of them cannot be drawn with one line. Which one is it?
I know how to draw the house. It's the card, because you can't draw this. I mean, let's see. We start here. This way. Yeah, it's the car. It's not the car? Oh, it's the circle. Well, we can start at this end. The way down. I've drawn that house before with one line. But it's not the house. Unless... It is the house? What? Okay. It's a fine work there. I was stuck in this puzzle for so long, I don't even know how long. Uh, you there, boy. I just had a terrible vision of you running into trouble tonight. So be careful out there, alright? Well, that was a welcome piece of news. But don't worry about me, because I don't scare easily. Okay. Cool. Is this dude still here? Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, you two. What up? Let me let you in on the secret. I got it. I got it. Don't tell me. I told you I got it. I was searching for somebody, huh? Hitting the streets for info. Yeah, but sorry. I haven't seen your man. Are you sure you didn't see or hear anything that might help us? No, no. I got nothing for you. Quit asking me about it. Sheesh. I see. Well, in any case, thank you for your time. Oh, yeah. Good luck with your crazy search. Two crazy kids on a crazy search, right? Right? Uh, definitely do not go poking around the tower on the north side of town. Got it? Yeah, you got it. The tower on the north side of town? How do you even get into that part of town? Do you remember that clock tower in the square? I believe we must pass through it to get to the north side of town. Let's go check it out. Do you have a puzzle for me, sir? <laughs> oh yeah, so you're busy investigating as always, yeah? Yeah, of course you are. The thing is, I got a hot puzzle here. There's no way I'm waiting until later to show you. So hold that investigation, Prof. You got a puzzle to solve. Okay. So this is three race horses can run around the racetrack. Oh, I bet it's so simple flow. The horses line up the starting line and start running in the same direction. How many minutes will pass before all three horses line up at the starting line again? So. Because <coughs> that's a common denominator. Not 12. Okay, well, I tried. Uh, I guess it would be 12 seconds. Yeah. Okay, so four laps a minute. So, get two laps a minute. So, 60 seconds pass. And this guy finally gets there. And then this guy is also there. But this guy is about halfway around the lap.
So that's one minute. I want to say it's two minutes. Not two minutes? How much you want to bet it's just one? Because by the time, yep. Got it. In one minute, horse A will have done two laps. Horse B will have done three, and horse C will have done four laps. And all the horses will be lined up at the starting line. Hey, nice one. You're pretty slick at those puzzles. Guess what? that's why you got the top hat, huh? I thought so. All right, then, Prof. Since you did such a good job, I suppose I'll let you pass through. Thank you. Do you have more puzzles for me? I don't know anything. You hear me? No leads here. Not a one. Sorry to bother you, sir. Another candle puzzle? Oh, look, another candle. That reminds me. Have you heard this one before? The same candle. Light which one? You only have one match left. You want to light the room with an oil lamp, start a fire, warm the room, and heat your bath water. In order to complete all of the above actions, which one should you light first? You should light the match first. Can't light anything unless you light the match. That's right. The first thing you need to light is the match itself. Without a fire source, how could you possibly start to take care of the lamp, bath water, or fireplace? Also, light the oil lamp next, because then you have more fire. Wonderful work, Luke. That is indeed the answer. I don't see anyone minding the shop at the moment. Perhaps we should leave for now. Uh, let it go. There's still nobody here. I don't understand. Okay, whatever. All right. Well. That's the clock tower you were talking about, right, Professor? Yes, quite right. Mm, someone's standing under the entrance. Thought I'd do it again. You have another puzzle for me, sir. I hear you've been investigating the state mystery. Feel free to continue, but stay away from that tower. The place brings misfortune upon the village. I strongly advise keep you to keep your distance. Okay. Mm. There seems to be a puzzle embedded in the store. I could have sworn there was nothing there a minute ago. Fascinating. This puzzle appears to be acting in some sort of lock for this door. How delightful. Look, my boy, why don't you give this puzzle a try? I'm almost certain the door will open if you solve it. Oh, no. I remember this puzzle. I'm not happy with it the last time I did it. Wait, I've got a...
Selena, come unlock the door. Hold on. That I could get it out this way. I hate this puzzle. There, I got the ball out. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> With all those blocks in the way, getting your ball out to the goal was harder than expected. Yes, it was. Very nice. The door should open right now. Oh, hello. Why, howdy. Do you often find yourself hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Well then, Sunny, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. Granny Riddleton? Where can we find this lady? Isn't it obvious? She's right in front of you, boy. No wonder you have trouble solving puzzles. Yes, you are gazing at the beautiful, clairvoyant gra Granny Riddleton. Guide to the puzzle puzzlers. Beautiful and clairvoyant. Professor, do you know what she's going on about? Fret not, Luke. Why don't you let me do the talking here? Sorry to disturb you, Miss Riddleton, but by clairvoyant, do you mean to say you have psychic powers? Can you do things like, say, pick a criminal out of a crowd or visualize the location of lost objects? Psh! Any fortune teller can do that. So what if you could see a few days in the future? Big whoop! My specialty, you see, is puzzles. Puzzles people forgot about. Puzzles people miss. Surely boys have had a few of those, eh? No need to turn red. It happens to the best puzzlers. What I do, you see, is I take those poor little lost puzzles and invite them to come stay with me. Wow, so those puzzles that we tried but weren't able to solve, those puzzles are here now. <laughs> Looks like you finally figured out what makes me so amazing, boy. Now go ahead and give a knock on the door of that little shack behind me. Inside you'll find rows of cute little jars, each one of them stuffed with a forgotten puzzle. I bet you can find those lost puzzles either somewhere in the midst of all my little pretties. Pretty sure I haven't lost any puzzles, but... Is there any hit coins here? Why, howdy, do you often find yourself hopelessly, achingly, painfully stuck on puzzles? Well, then, Sunny, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Granny Riddleton's Puzzle Shack. If your cottage is empty, it means you've solved all the puzzles that are currently available. On the other hand, if you leave too many puzzles unsolved, they might not all fit in the cottage. If that's the case, you can see the rest of your lost puzzles by tapping on my little broom over there. Now go on, see what you have waiting inside the cottage. College? Yeah, no, I've completed all of them. I've done this already. Okay, bye. I'll be right back. If I end up forgetting that puzzle, it's not a big deal. Lady in the end, have you seen Raymond? Ready to try another puzzle. Oh, nothing gets my heart lacing like a passionate man. Unfortunately, I don't have any good puzzles right now, but do check back later. Okay. Sounds great. I'll just head on back over here. Ah, uh, what the heck was that sound? Oh, I've just had it. Would someone please stop that awful racket? What's the matter, sir? Who are you calling, sir? I'm a young man. Uh, but never mind that. I'm furious. That sound, that horrible noise. I can't get a week of sleep at night. Used to be only the tower made that noise every once in a while, but recently it's been roaring nonstop. How am I supposed to sleep? You hear me, you big jerk of a tower? How am I supposed to sleep? Please calm yourself, sir. Do you have any idea what the source of this deafening din is? You know, now that you mention it, I don't have the slightest clue about it. I've heard it's the roar of a huge monster that lives up in the tower, but who knows? So, the noise is coming from the tower, is it? Do you have more puzzles for me? I've just had it. Would someone please make that awful racket stop? Hey, lady. Do you have a new puzzle for me? No? 
you have a new puzzle for me? I'm sorry I don't have a puzzle for you now, but how about next time we bump into each other? Out looking for something again? Or we were called upon called to Saint Mystery to locate the golden apple. We came all the way from London. But we keep getting sidetracked by unrelated matters. We haven't made any progress in our investigation. Sorry to hear things aren't going smoothly. Well, you like puzzles, don't you? You'll fit right in here. I'm breaking a sweat here trying to keep things together. Would you mind helping me out with the problem? I have some milk I need to divvy up, but my measuring cup seemed to have grown legs and walked away. Do you have any idea how I might get myself out of this little pickle? Ah, are you kidding me? On the counter, we have a 10-quart pitcher full of milk, an empty 7-quart pitcher, an empty 3-quart pitcher. Pitchers are unmarked. Your task is to divide the 10 quarts of milk so that both the 10-quart pitcher and the 7-quart pitchers are holding exactly 5 quarts. Okay. Well done. If you keep at it long enough, you'll eventually come across a solution. The shortest possible solution requires nine moves. Well, fuck you. Thanks a bunch. I can finally start on those scones. There must be some way I can return the favor. Listen, this being a restaurant and all, come by and eat whatever you like. It's all in the house. Cool, thanks. Free food. All right, I guess I have to go talk to the guys in front of the tower now. You, the, I keep looking at your watch. You have a puzzle about time? Is it true what they say about a murder in Reinhold Manor? A murder in our little village. The very thought gives me goosebumps and a great idea for a novel. Excuse my insensitivity, but I'm always on the lookout for new ideas. How can I help you? We're looking for Raymond. Have you seen him around? No, can't say that I've seen him today. Oh, but I first searched around town has turned up nothing. It's probably at the park or in the tower. You know, somewhere the villagers don't normally go. The tower, huh? Oh, you should stay as far from the tower as possible. There are all sorts of bad rumors about it. it. Sure seems that way. We keep running into people who say that. Just what are the rumors? Just, you know, bad stuff. There's something really scary about that tower. Do you have a puzzle, sir? Still no luck finding the villain. What an odd world we live in. Well, you know what they say. The truth is stranger than fiction. Speaking of fiction, I just thought up a little gem. Please give it your honest feedback. Please give your honest feedback on it. Yep. How many sheets? Several rectangular sheets of transparent film are arranged on top of each other as shown. The lines represent areas which one sheet overlaps another. The thickest point in the pile, how many sheets are overlapping? One, two, three, one, this one's overlapping with two, two, three, four, five. This one's overlapping it. This one is overlapping. This one's overlapping. That one is. Oh, 
I want to say it's five. I want to say five. Alright, cool. Beautiful work. But I think the puzzles are right in my next novel will be even harder than that one. If you have time, stop by later. I'm sure I'll have an utterly fascinating new puzzle prepared for you by then. So many gizmos. Alright, do it in the clock tower. I need you to move. Please. Hey there, you've been pretty busy solving puzzles, yeah. If you want to pass through here, you need to solve at least 12 puzzles first. But it looks like you've already done that. Hmm? Well, I guess I'll just lie to you then. If you really want to pass through here, you'll also have to solve one puzzle. Is it another ball puzzle? Strange dots? The dice below look normal enough, but if you look carefully, you'll see a pattern start to emerge. What was the following? A is zero. B is 9, and what does, and C is 6, what does D correspond to? Three. It's a clock. That's right, each shot on the die represents the hands on an analog clo clock. Play. Way to go. You've earned it, mister, so come on through. Are you still after that scary cat? We're after one of, uh, we are looking for one of Reinhold's employees now. He's a man by the name of Raymond. You haven't seen him about, have you? Raymond, huh? Um, yes, I think I might have. Oh gosh, where'd I see that guy? Well, maybe you're better off asking someone else. Go ask Lucy, she's standing under the clock tower. Is she? We finally passed through the clock tower to the north side of the town. How exciting. Can't see what's in, wait to see what's in store for us here. Again, I guess that's Lucy. Look at that cat, Professor. It's not Claudia, is it? No, no, no. On second thought, it is a different cat. Yes, it's an alley cat. And judging by the way he bullies that poor mouse, it's a rather mean one at that. I, uh, yes, Luke. Speaking of mice, have you heard this one before? Too many mice. Mice are famous for their ability to multiply at breakneck speeds. The type of mouse we have here gives birth once a month, birthing 12 babies each time. Baby mice mature and can give birth two months after they were born. We picked up one of these darling baby mice at the pet shop and bought it home the day after it was born. It's been two months from now. How many mi m mice will you have? Well, you only bought one, and so it can't multiply. You only have one mouse. That's right. Your mouse can't birth any babies by itself. Correct. Excellent work, Luke. Dang. Are you Lucy? All right. I'm going to end this episode here. It's been a long while. I've got to go take care of some stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Good night, signing out. Bye.